All right, get this. The Garuda Linux team, they just dropped like a huge, a massive update. Yeah. And it's not just like, you know, fixing a couple of bugs here and there. Yeah. No, no, they've gone and like totally revamped things, added some really cool features, mm. even like redesigned their website and forum. Mm. It, it's all detailed in their like latest announcement. Okay. On the Garuda Linux forum, which is what we're going to be like diving into today. All right. Um, so whether you're like a hardcore Garuda fan or just like Linux curious. Yeah. I think you're going to find this deep dive pretty fascinating. I think what's so cool is that they seem to be focusing on making Linux more approachable. Right. And visually appealing. Yeah. Without like sacrificing the power and customization options that people, you know, really love about Linux. Totally. Okay. So let's dive right in. Okay. The first thing that like caught my eye was this brand new app Uh huh. called Garita Ronnie. Okay. It's being like touted as the reliable assistant for native installations. Which is a mouthful, but it sounds like it could be like a game changer right. for like managing your Garuda system. Yeah, it basically aims to become the central hub for like all things Garuda. Okay. It'll eventually be replacing several um, existing utilities. Mm -hmm. You can kind of think of it as like a one-stop shop for customizing your desktop, managing your system settings. Right. And accessing all the tools and resources you need, really. And they built it on a modern Tor Angular stack. Yeah. Which I'll admit sounds a bit technical it does but the key takeaway is that it means that ronnie should be super fast right responsive yeah and like a joy to use uh -huh. it's all about making the experience you know smooth and intuitive exactly and and this focus on user experience it extends beyond just ronnie right garuda is making like a very conscious effort to create a consistent okay and visually appealing design language across all of their platforms yeah i noticed they redesigned their website and forum yes and they look absolutely stunning they do they're using these like soothing capuchin mocha uh -huh, okay and capuchin latte themes that are really on trend right now yeah have you noticed that like more and more websites have. and apps are moving towards these calmer color palettes. Definitely. There's a growing desire for um, digital spaces that feel less harsh and overwhelming. Right. And Garuda is tapping into that beautifully. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a like streamlined new utility app, mm -hmm. gorgeous website and form redesign and dot wait for it. Yay. A brand new community chosen wallpaper. Wow. Called Broadwing. Okay. It won their Garuda 2025 wallpaper contest, and it is seriously impressive. Oh, nice. It really captures, like, the essence of Garuda perfectly. Yeah. It's sleek, modern. Uh -huh. It features a stylized bird design that, you know, evokes a sense of freedom hmm. and power. It really embodies that, like, Garuda spirit. It does. You can actually download it and check it yeah. out yourself. Uh -huh. We'll include a link in the show notes so you can experience, you know, the full visual impact. Nice. All right, so moving on to some of the more like specific updates. Okay. Starting with the different Garuda editions. Uh -huh. Each edition has its own like unique focus. Right. And this update brings a bunch of cool enhancements like tailored to those specific user groups. Nice. So first up we have dr 469 which oh. is known for its like extreme customization options. Right. And they've made it even easier to personalize your desktop by integrating the panel colorizer directly into the system. Nice. You can now tweak the colors of your panels and other desktop elements with ease, creating a truly unique look and feel that matches your personality. Uh -huh. It's all about like putting you in control. I love it. So next we have Hyperland, which is really pushing the boundaries of Wayland desktops. Okay. They've added a bunch of new features and improvements, including a new screenshot script, special workspaces, hmm. and even better compatibility with X11 applications. So for those who are unfamiliar. Right. Wayland is a modern display server protocol that is like gradually replacing the older X11 system. Yeah. It offers several advantages like smoother graphics, better touchscreen support, uh -huh. and improved security. Mm. By focusing on Wayland, Garuda is like really embracing the future of desktop Linux. Yeah, so even if you're using applications that haven't fully transitioned to Wayland yet, okay. Hyperland has you covered. Nice. They're bridging the gap and making the transition as smooth as possible for users. I love it. Okay, so now let's talk about i3, which is like a classic tiling window manager. Great. Love for its efficiency and minimalism. Yeah. This update brings a really cool visual enhancement with the addition of Font Awesome. Hmm. 
So for those who aren't familiar with Font Awesome, it's a vast library of icons that can be used to enhance the look and feel of applications and, and interfaces. Yeah. So for i3 users, this means you'll have a wider range of visually appealing icons to choose from. They've also squashed some like annoying bugs related to um, CPU temperature display. Okay. Font sizes and dunced notifications. Nice. No, it's those little details that really polish the user experience. Absolutely. It shows that they're paying attention to user feedback yeah. and striving to make each edition, you know, as polished and reliable as possible. All right. On to Sway. Yes. Another cutting edge Wayland desktop environment that's like gaining popularity. It is. And they've made some significant changes to the login okay. and lock screen experience. Yeah. They replaced the old greeter with a sleek new one mm -hmm. called um, Aniela G Hello, which allows for a much more like visually appealing and customizable login screen. Nice. You can personalize it with custom themes yeah, okay. and backgrounds. Awesome. And they switched from Sway Lock to GT Clock for the lock screen, mm -hmm. which offers some nice enhancements like user information display. Okay. And more intuitive power controls. Gotcha. It's a subtle but noticeable improvement. Yeah, and they also revamped the Waybar, right. which is like a popular panel for Sway. Mm. Adding expandable modules so you can, you know, maximize your screen real estate mm. and only display the information that you need when you need it. Nice. So each edition is getting some serious love in this update. Yeah. It's really impressive to see like the level of attention to detail. Right. And the focus on providing a tailored experience for each user group. Yeah, it speaks to Garuda's commitment to catering to a diverse range of users and workflows, right. allowing everyone to find, you know, the perfect Garuda setup that fits their needs. Now, let's shift gears and talk about some specific application updates that, like, caught our eye, starting with the Garuda Setup Assistant. All right, so the Garuda Setup Assistant has been updated with a few new options. Okay. You can now choose Fire Dragon Capuchin as your default browser. Hmm. Which is based on Firefox, but comes pre-configured with the Capuchin theme right. for a nice cohesive look. And there's a new kernel option, yeah. Linux Clear, which is known for its performance and stability. Okay. But one change that might surprise some users is the removal of the POMAC GTK GUI software manager. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Hmm. POMAC is a pretty popular graphical package manager. It is. So it's interesting that they decided to remove it. It could be that they're planning to introduce like a new graphical software manager down the line. Right. Or perhaps they're encouraging users to become more comfortable with the command line for package management. Right. Something to keep an eye on. Definitely. Next up, we have Garuda Tools, which has seen some important updates related to Dracut. Okay. Now, I know Dracket can sound a bit intimidating, but it plays okay. a really crucial role in the boot process. So Dracket is basically responsible for creating the AnyTramps. Right. Which is a small file system that loads early in the boot sequence. Okay. It contains all the essential drivers and modules needed to get your system up and running. So these updates to Dracket ensure mm -hmm. that Garuda boots smoothly. And reliably, even on like different hardware configurations. Mm -hmm. It's one of those behind-the-scenes improvements that... You know, you might not notice directly, yeah, but is essential for a solid user experience. Right. And speaking of behind the scenes improvements, Snapper Tools has also received an update oh. with enhanced KKXEC integration. Nice. So Snapper is a really powerful tool for managing system snapshots. Yeah. Think of it like an undo button for your entire system. Hmm. If you're about to make like a major change, you can create a snapshot. And then if things go wrong, you can easily revert back to that previous state. Exactly. It's a great safety net. Yeah. And the improved pickaxe integration makes it even more um, secure and reliable. Okay, let's move on to Garuda Gamer, which is specifically designed for, you guessed it. Gamers. Gamers. Yes. It's been updated with some, like, visual tweaks. Okay. Including new checkboxes and icons. Mm -hmm. But the more interesting change is the switch to Sewn Blundvist DKMS Git. Wow, that's a mouthful. It is. But essentially, it ensures that you have the latest and greatest drivers for your Xbox controllers. Nice. So if you're gaming on Garuda with an Xbox controller, you'll have a smoother, more responsive experience. All right, next we have Garuda Welcome. Okay. Which is that, like, friendly application that greets you. Right. When you first boot into Garuda, uh -huh. it's gotten a UI refresh, 
some icon updates, and some under-the-hood preparations for the transition to Qt6. So Qt is a software framework used for developing applications. Okay. And Qt6 is a major update that brings a bunch of new features and improvements. Mm. But it also introduces some significant changes that require developers to adapt their applications. Right. So by preparing Garuda Welcome for this transition, they're ensuring that it will remain compatible and visually consistent with future versions of Garuda Linux. That's all about thinking ahead and making sure things run smoothly as technology evolves. Exactly. And finally, we have updates to the Fire Dragon browser. Oh. Which is based on Firefox, but comes with some extra privacy right. and security features. Mm -hmm. They've added new cookie blocking settings, mm. which give you more like granular control over which websites are allowed to store cookies on your computer. Nice. This helps protect your privacy right. and prevent unwanted tracking. And they've also enhanced some of the existing privacy features and made a bunch of UI improvements to mm -hmm. make browsing smoother okay. and more enjoyable. So we've covered like a ton of updates already. Yeah, we have. From major new features like Garudarani to smaller but still important application updates. Right. So if we were to sum up the direction that Garuda Linux is heading, what would you what would you say? I think it's safe to say that Garuda is on a mission to make Linux more accessible, uh, enjoyable, yeah. and visually appealing without sacrificing the power and flexibility that, you know, drew us to Linux in the first place. I couldn't agree more. They're constantly pushing the boundaries, yeah. refining the user experience, uh -huh. and creating a truly unique and inviting, like, Linux ecosystem. And that's incredibly exciting. It's a great time to be a Garuda user. Yeah. And I'm eager to see what they come up with next. So as we wrap up this deep dive, we want to hear from you. Yeah. What aspect of this Garuda update excites you the most? Mm. Do you think Garuda is on the right track with these changes? Yeah. Let us know your thoughts. And be sure to check out the show notes for links to all the resources we mentioned. Right. Including that original announcement on the Garuda forum. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Until next time. Until next time. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep into the fascinating world of Linux.